Hey guys, welcome back for another video. We are, we're not gonna vlog today, but I just wanted to come with kind of like a personal, you know, little personal touch. In today's video, we are going to wash our hair. You guys wanted to see an updated um, summer, I guess this would be considered my summer wash and go. Y'all wanted to see it in full bloom so let's get started we're gonna do it from start to finish you wanna know how I do my wash and go come on come on let's go sorry for the echo you guys but this is usually where I wash my hair so I wanted to take you guys vlog style kind of to show you guys how I prepare for my wash day so this is wash day for me i am going to go ahead and deep condition my hair i do have a video on that already of how i deep condition and moisturizing treatments and all of that we are going to still rank our videos but you guys wanted to see my current wash and go routine first so we are going to go through that i'm going to show you what i'll be using and yeah let's get into it okay so these are the products that i'm going to be using today I do a process or a method called the lock method, which is liquid oil cream. Now I call it, I have modified mine for my own hair, which I totally encourage you guys to do. And that is to modify a hair care system or a routine that is essential for you. Now mine is called locks. So I do liquid oil cream styler i know some people stop at the cream and but i actually prefer and really need hold in order to reduce tanglage in my hair so the first thing we are going to go in with is our my l organics almond oil this is the mint almond oil it really helps with my scalp and with itchiness and irritation i really like that oil i one of you guys ask like what do i do with these two like do i put one behind the other i actually this is coconut oil 100 percent cold press coconut oil and i got this from big lots but what i do with this is i actually scoop some out and emulsify it in my hand and then pour um, because this is a spout i pour the almond mint oil this is for my hair only if you want to cook with coconut oil i suggest you have one separate from your hair care products just because i like to dip in with my hands with this and i don't want to uh, that's just like cross contamination to me um that's just my in my opinion so this is the coconut oil i put this on first now i do apply these two products on soak and wet hair that is this is what's going to lock in the moisture okay so the liquid is water nothing else can be better than water right you can use aloe juice i know some people use aloe vera juice i use 100 percent water like so i come out of the shower i use this and you're going to see that in the wash and go and this is the oil of choice today I do like to use avocado oil or castor seed oil. Those are my favorite. I will use grapeseed oil as well, but this is the mixture currently that I'm using in the summer. This one is very lightweight. Um, coconut oil is heavier. I use this one alone in the winter months, but I just love the mix right now. My cream would be the knot sauce. So Tanicles knot sauce, this is something that I have been going through, if you can tell. This is the leader. They have, they are selling the leaders again on the website, but this is really good. And so I love this. It's glycerin free. So I really like that. And this one, the styler of choice is my Pattern Pusha by Curl Junkie. This is, to me, this one is it's it's lightweight but not as lightweight as the curl queen curl queen is super light so if you have fine thin hair you might want to try the curl queen first if that one's too light you might want to actually do a cocktail of these two but this one i get like fluffy full voluminous hair so you're going to see that but this is my styler of choice and this is what i'm going to use for my wash and go back and I'm about to start 
my wash day. So I'm gonna take off my Fitbit. I thought I was gonna use the Briogeo, but we're gonna use another coat wash that I'm testing. And I pretty much have my definitive answer on this, but I am gonna and I'm gonna go ahead and use it again just for the purposes of using it. I do, oh, it's very tangled. Okay, so this is a perfect time to insert some tips on wash day. The first thing is if your hair is, I've gone past the time where I know that, you know, you know that point of no return, <laughs> that's where I am and it is very tangly. So what I'm going to do to soften up the hair is just wet the hair I'm going to go ahead and give it some detangling action with um, my Tresemme Naturals with this co-wash because this co-wash is rather thick and we're going to give it a good clean and um, we'll go from there. Okay, see ya. Okay guys, so we are back. We have a mask Monday coming up and the deep conditioner that I just had in my hair is the Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. I'll be doing a review of this and a face mask so stay tuned for that but we're gonna go ahead and get into the locks method as I said before I don't think I've ever done on camera a real-time talk through kind of like wash and go and so currently it is 213 so I am going to do this in real time so you kind of get an idea of how long it takes me so the first thing I am going to do and let you guys know in depth I do rinse. First of all, you see that it is sectioned off. It keeps my hair detangled and I use cold water. Now, in the spring and summer, as cold as I can take it, I actually flip my hair over and I let the water run through. Now, the reason why I do that is because I want as much moisture to get in the crown area. And if you do it where the shower is going from head down, the conditioner and all of your moisturization actually gets trapped here. So a lot of times that's what happens. I got that tip from a, um, a stylist. And so I, like I said, I'm going in on soaking wet hair. I do not squeeze my hair out at all. I just go ahead and go in with the coconut oil and my MIL organic. So like I said, I'm pouring it in my hand. I'm emulsifying it and I'm going to go ahead and unravel this section, which makes it four. I'm gonna start on the back and I'm gonna work up. And I'm raking it through. And like I said, because I kept it pretty much detangled, it's allowing me to do this a lot quicker and a lot smoother, okay? I might want to put a little bit more on the ends, a little bit more of the coconut oil, just because that is very, very, this is a heavy oil and my ends need as much moisture as possible. So, and you might want to do the prayer hands. This is prayer hands and it smooths it down the cuticle and I'm smoothing the cuticle at the same time. So I'm gonna go in and do the front section, just taking some more of the coconut oil. Make sure you try to get as many of the strands of like shedded hair off your hand and just so it doesn't create more tangles and tears on your hair, that's really important. And ooh, I almost forgot, okay. The My Elm Organics, I'm gonna take it, I mix it. And I'm gonna start at the end and work my way to my hair. And I like to run it through, all the way through. Like I said, my hair is very dry at the top. So I'm gonna go in one more time and I'm gonna take some more of that coconut oil and take some of that almond mint. Now today I actually have to go pick up my son. So this is gonna be really helpful because I would be going this fast anyway. So I am going to go ahead and do this other section. I'm not gonna speed up and do it in 
I'm not gonna speed up the feed because I want you guys, like I said, to see in real time how long it takes me. I guess I could speed it, speed it up since I showed you guys the time that I started, so, okay. I do like to go from like root. I know some people only want to like do the ends. I have to actually take it down the whole entire strand. Now I'm not going in with my leave-in just yet because my whole like if I lose moisture, me being high porosity, I like to initially do it on the uh, on soaking wet hair. But you can have a water bottle. I do have one, you know, at the ready right now, or on the ready, or however they say it. I have it ready. And this is just smoothing the cuticle. Every time I do this. I'm smoothing down the cuticle. I think I want to take some more of this and actually just go into my scalp. Okay, so we're going to start off on the section that we ended on and we're going to move on to the leave-in. I'm going to shake this up. You want to make sure that anything that has settled in your product is like mixed really well. You might get an inconsistency of like the cohesiveness of the hair strand based upon your styler just because of like for not shaking it up. I've had that happen to me where I've gotten clumps and different things. Now, the good thing about this is because my hair is already detangled, I'm actually able to just smooth it through. Of course, if you have thicker hair, you might want to section it off. I feel like really saturating my hair with the leave-in is what's going to prolong the moisturization. I can go a couple of, like maybe a day, depending on how emollient and moisturizing the leave-in is, I can go maybe a day or two without moisturizing and sealing, but I definitely want this to be the really, I want this to be very moisturizing because this is like on is sandwiching that moisture of the water okay so I like to be very liberal with my leave-in conditioner as you can tell I'm not twisting my hair back up I'm starting to kind of like style the product or style my hair while the product is in now I feel like the most important oils are good. Having a really good leave-in conditioner and a styler with some good hold is key. To me, you can get a leave-in that is very emollient with some oils where you don't have to do the oil step. And as the summer goes along, I might, I do have some that are like one step wash and go where is the oil and the cream? I'm gonna take, I haven't counted how many pumps. Do y'all know how many pumps I pumped out for one of this stuff? But as you can tell, I like to smooth this down too. Now, if I wanted to do a twist out, I totally would like let this air dry which I am gonna let this do. Let this air dry. If I just wanted a big fluffy twist out, I could do that. 
but gel and then converting it, adding gel and then converting it with the cream, which at some point I'm gonna do that. Um, actually, I get the best results. So finally, I'm gonna go in with the Patter Pusha um, gel, and of course, I'm shaking it up. I'm go going in with, I'm gonna start off with two pumps on each side. I'm starting off at the bottom. That's where I want a lot of my curl definition to be. This one is a very, I'll show y'all the consistency, but you can tell, getting some curl definition. They usually don't scrunch, but if you have issues with like your ends, not you can always scrunch them. And you can see the difference on this side versus this side. So I think two pumps is good. I am going to go in with two more pumps. I like to get the roots as well and my edges. My edges tend to curl up. Okay, so now I'm doing the other side. I'm gonna go in. So how many pumps was that? Two, four, six, eight pumps of gel for my entire head. Now this is the time where wherever you're gonna have your part, you want to do it. So I'm gonna have. Usually I have my part on this side. And I'm not going to define it. But I am going to go ahead and put the part on this side. And that is the wash and go. Now, what the next thing I am going to do, I've been doing this lately just because it pulls out all of the excess product. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, now that's the part. This pulls out the excess product. So again, it gives me volume at the top so it's not so flat. And that is using my Aquas hair turban. So you guys have seen me use this. I've done like I do have a video of a complete wash day that you probably want to check out. But we're just talking about my current wash and go right now. I'm going to flip my hair forward. I'm gonna take my aquas hair turban and I am going to just wrap this. I'm gonna leave that on for a few minutes while I clean up and then I'm going to take it down and head out. And my hair is gonna air dry. This is like the day that I kind of like I'm not really going anywhere I'm gonna go pick up my son but I don't mind my hair like air drying it's it's warm outside and um, I would not do that in the fall and winter but that's why this is my summer spring and summer wash and go I will let you know oh totally forgot okay it is 12 27 so it approximately took me about 14 minutes 15 minutes to from start to finish of like styling it the lock method all of that it took me about 15 minutes okay so just so you know it is currently 227 we started at 213 so it took me approximately like 14 minutes to do my hair less than 15 minutes and I feel like that that is with detangling if you detangle you will spend less time styling and doing all of that to your hair but I wanted to come and do it in real time don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel I hope you guys enjoy all these natural hair videos especially if you have porosity hit me up girl subscribe to the channel I post videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday I'll see you soon